what I've been learning since I actually started doing my own research and looking into stuff that um, it's been a lot of lies told, a whole bunch of lies as to who we are, um, our origin, where we come from, a whole bunch of things historically, period. And um, as much as I, I battle white supremacy or talk about that every day, um, about 49% of the situations that the problems that we face today is our own. But I would say 51% being white because what they've done, what they still do today, um, they still have quite a bit of pitfalls out here for us. But I charge us because it's information out here now. And um, I have my hands on a, a lot of information and I share a lot of information. And um, it's amazing what, what, what black people don't want to hear. You know, it's what we've been taught year in, year out. Uh, I research a lot of things because now I don't trust history at all. So I do a bunch of my own research. And when I find things out, I actually bring it back and I could cite it for some people, give them references to where, where to find it at. And even with all of this, black people will cling on to what their tradition is or where they got something else from. And it's sad. And I know some of y'all agreeing with me right now, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm talking about you. You know, just because you were at the first grade with it or the second grade and somebody in the kindergarten, you you're a part of it too, man. It's, it's in you. With everything you celebrate, with everything you do, where you are, um, you're from Africa. We, we readily accept that, right? You should challenge that and see if you really are from Africa. Or just ask yourself, why do you believe you're from Africa? Who told you? Some of you might be, but for the rest of you just going along with it, you taking it. Have you ever proven it yourself? Now, if I come here today and tell you I'm native or I'm Aborigine, I've been here forever, you the first thing you're going to tell me is prove it, right? That's black people, a nigga shit for you. You understand what I'm saying? You're going to challenge me like you have the upper ground. You know where you learned that from as black people? From white supremacists. They make you prove everything. They tell you what it is and you go along with it. Yeah, um, you probably in church right now, right? Because somebody told you that. But if you actually did your own research, you'll find out that you were supposed to be in there yesterday. But then even after you find that out as a black person, Negro, you're going to find a way to make it all right and be okay with the bullshit. Um, and that's with God, something that we're not supposed to play with, you know? Um, maybe 20 so some odd days, some of you are going to be celebrating what we call Christmas. And some of y'all say you the same people say you love God. And that's the biggest contradiction ever, because you can't celebrate Christmas and talk about God. I mean, he spoke against it in his own book, um, Jeremiah 10 to through about four or five. This is the most high God speaking against Christmas. But I bet one of y'all find a book and say, hey, that's the old thing. And this is real incredible. We're going to get next to a God that got rules that we don't have to follow. And we'll tell ourselves that and make it be that because we need it to be that. Because we don't want to do, I guess, what's right. Or it's easier to just go along with that shit. It's so much stuff that we choose as black people, Negroes, African Americans, that keep us in the same place that we've been. You know, we've been here forever, right in the same place. And as soon as somebody come with different information that challenges the information that keep you in the same place, you push that info information away so you can stay in the same place. And then you complain about the way these people treat you, you know? You, you probably celebrated Thanksgiving just recently, right? Christmas is coming up. Um, New Year's is coming up. All these holidays are coming up. And um, Negroes, African Americans, black people, do a real search. What those holidays mean to you? If they don't mean anything to you, why do you celebrate them? And that starts your gears to turn and coming up with a real reason why you colonized. Why? 
none of those holidays are yours. I mean, and you guys are holy people. You in church right now? Do you even read the Bible? Do you understand it? You, you New Testament, right? Because somebody told you that you don't deal with the Old Testament anymore. M more black people shit. You never investigated that on your own to see if that's actually the truth. Or even read scriptures that say that the law is not gone, the laws of God will never be done away with. And y'all like to run to grace, grace, grace. You know what grace is? It's um, your kid coming in at fucking four o'clock in the morning and you told him to be in at 12. And then when you step to your kid and ask him why he ain't listen to you, he look you in your face and like, grace, motherfucker. So in your house, is it rules or is it grace? You know, and these are the things that we deal with as black people, as Negroes. We gullible, can't nobody fool us at the same time. For me, all your senses are up. This nigga don't know what he talking about. He crazy as fuck. And you ain't gonna go and investigate nothing I said, right? Automatically write me off. Go ahead, stay right in your same spot. What you got to lose? Nothing, you already not successful. So what do you got to lose by staying in the same spot?